Welcome back to my next tutorial. Last episode I showed you how to install Docker. Docker container live in their own network behind your normal network. Your host uses network address translation, also known as NAT, to make them accessible. I will show you how to give your container local IPs from your network. So, let's get started. There are multiple options to give a Docker container access to our network. The most common, is the host network mode. In this mode the container gets the same IP as the host and uses the ports it needs. Some applications like IO Broker need this to discover your network for IoT devices for example. If you just need one container host mode should be fine for you. If you have multiple containers with these special needs, it can get worse. Some ports may collide or you just want them to have different IPs. In this case you have only one option called Mac VLAN. To get Mac VLAN up and running you have two options. Just add it for one container if you don't need more or second, which is the better option, add the network for your whole system. I am already connected to my Docker host, I used in last video, and gained root access which we will need. I prepared a sample docker compose file for a nginx server. You can find a link to a sample compose file in the description. Under the services tab you find a sub area where I define the wanted IP from my local network and how my virtual network is called in docker. After this you have to declare your network underneath the services tab. First you fill in a name for your network. You can choose your own, but it is important that it is the same name you used under services. At driver opts we declare what our network interface is called. On older distributions it was mostly called eth0. To find the right name type. IPA or IP address. Last step is to add some information about your network under IPAM config. To set an IP range is optional. Just start the docker compose file now with docker compose up D. The compose file created the network, but let's check if this container is working. The container is available with an IP address from my network. Great. Let me clean up first. The other method is setting up the network first. The benefit of doing it this way, is that you can add as much containers with local IPs as you want. I have created a bash script to create the network, but you can just copy the code from the GitHub wiki I linked in the video description. You need the same variables like before. Subnet is your network, gateway is your router and parent is your network interface. You can use IPv6 additionally, but this subnet does not have any IPv6 connection. IP range is optional, but you have to name your network. I used LAN in this case. The network has been created as you can see. I am using an Ginx container again. You need to choose an IP address under services network and add the right network name. After this define the network at the networks tab. Now you are done. The container is up and running. Let's check if it is available. Nginx is working. I will create another container with the same docker compose file, just with a different IP, and name. Both containers are working well. Thanks for watching. If you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe.